guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm Kolura kemi from lagos nigeria guys today i'm gonna be teaching you guys on how to make an hexagon shape bag um i've already sketched this down i just you know thought of expanding my knowledge to you guys because i want you guys to know how to make an hexagon shape bag so i'm gonna be splitting this tutorial into two or maybe into three the first one is i'm gonna be explaining the um the pattern how to sketch it out how to you know the make the full measurement for it i'm gonna be showing you guys here then the full making will be on my other parts um video so stay tuned for the next I mean for the step two of this video guys um so i'm gonna be using this now i'm gonna be using this same measurement because i want it to be a portable hexagon shape bag i don't want it to be too big right so i'm just gonna use this now to illustrate it here so that you guys can you know understand it guys this is the front okay let's say this is the back of the um of the, the this is the body right this is the back side this is the upper base and this is the front flap so this is how it's gonna look like and this is gonna be the all the parts that is going to hold the magnets this place will be with the magnets so the magnets will sit here so it's gonna be like this guys now i'm just gonna you know sketch it out for you guys to see so the measurements for it the measurement i'm gonna be using for this bag is nine nine inches so i'm gonna be making use of nine inches Then after that, I'm just going to take my ruler, I'm just going to roll it like this. I mean, if you don't, uh, if you don't really have much idea about bag making with this um, tutorial, you'll be able to learn a lot. Yeah, you'll be able to learn a lot. So. <laughs> The first measurement after this is the flap. Don't forget the flap is the first measurement. So the um, the measurement I'm gonna be using now is seven inches. Seven inches. I don't want it to be. I don't want it to be too big. I want it to be portable. So I'm doing a portable. Um, bag so you just take your ruler then roll. the next measurement is the upper base the upper base i'm making is of two inches two inches two inches so i'm just going to take my ruler now and then you know merge them together so after that the next measurement is the back side so this is seven this is two this is going to be seven also seven inches seven inches seven inches After that, you just have to roll it. Roll it. Now we've gotten the front, which is a flap, the upper base, and the back. Now I'm still going to take the measurement of this. Don't forget, it's still going to be the same measurement with this. So the measurement for this also is going to be, um, so um, this is going to be 7 also, 7 inch, 
inches. So it's going to be seven, seven. Take your ruler and make rulers. So now the next thing we want to do is to look for the center of this, look for the center of this, center of this. This is seven, so the center of seven, when you fold it into two and you take it like this. That's 3.5. So guys, um, now what we're going to do now is we're going to take the center, choose this, also here, the center. This is the center and this is the center. Here too, we're going to take the center, which is um, 3.5. Here, we're going to take the center, which is 3.5. The center, 3.5, the center, 3.5. Then after doing that, take your ruler. But before then, you have to take another measurement, which is One inch plus this. Same thing here. Now, the next thing, the next thing is to centralize the ruler and then, you know, merge the two, um, merge them together. So, basically that's what I'm doing right now. So it's a very simple and easy pattern. You just have to um, just have to know it. Once you know it, it will be very very easy to do. So now I'm actually um, you know um, merging the second part. I'm true with the um, with the back um, with the back part. The second one, I'm trying to join them together. Then after that, I'll go to the flap, then to the upper base. Then we'll move this place together, the upper base. Move it together.
two guys. This is it. From here to this place is 1.5. Same thing, 1 1.5, 1.5. Guys, um, what I'm doing right now is um, I'm trying to, the hexagon shape, I don't want it to be too um, sharp. The edges, I don't want them to be sharp. So um, that is why I'm using my pen to blunt it a bit. So um, after doing that, I'm just going to do it to um, the rest. I'm going to, you know, same thing. I'm going to be doing it to the rest of the um, shape. Guys, you can see it that it's the same shape now, the same angle. Guys, now I'm true. Um, I'm true now with the shape. You guys can see how you know beautiful it's already looking. The next thing I'm gonna be doing right now is to bring out um, the shape of the bottom, the way I want the bottom. Um, shape to look like I'm not I don't want it to be sharp and when I, I I'm, I'm gonna be giving it a very nice and beautiful shape so yeah something like that exactly like that I just showed you guys now so that is what I'm gonna be doing guys I'm just gonna take my um, bottle cover to bring out the shape of the bottom you know use it for both sides then after that I'm gonna take my ruler um, you know look for the center after looking for the center I'm gonna use my pen to you know to notch it the measurement for that is um, 5.5 so I'm just gonna use look for the um, just look for the um, center then you know mark it after marking it then I'm just gonna use my um, pen to bring out the shape of what I want I'm just gonna shape it out myself you know using my hands to do that guys you can see the shape oh my gosh this is looking beautiful already you can imagine how it's gonna look like after you know being sewn or being wrapped with leather I'm gonna be use, making use of leather and actual key for this um, lovely bag you guys should watch how to stay tuned for the next phase of this video it's gonna be very very interesting guys so i'm still trying to bring out the shape still trying to bring out the shape i'm true with it the next thing for me to do is to cut it out so guys i'm trying to cut the first part that's been shaped i'm trying to cut it out guys um <laughs> You know, I said Ashe OK. Most people might not know the meaning of Ashe OK. It's an African and attire. So I'm going to be making use of it for this lovely bag. 
so the next thing is you know i'm just going to trim out the excess burn the excess uh, measurements that i don't need i'm just going to trim them out to bring out the real shape of what i really want to so, after shaping it after you know cutting everything shaping everything then i'm just going to use that pattern to trace it out from the rest guys i'm still um i'm still shaping it still using my scissors to shape it out guys you can see how lovely it is already so basically what i'm doing right now is to see if you know the old thing is equal that is why i have to you know just to see if what i'm doing is right and trust me what I'm doing is actually right so um, trying to see if there's any excess you know material I still need to cut off you know so you need to be you need to be sure that uh, you know the shaped uh, the shapes are very very equal so I'm just gonna use that right now to shape um, the rest out still um, tracing the shape out guys I'm, I'm trying to be careful to make sure that um, it is um, I'm trying to be careful that it's, it's actually um, so I, do, I actually don't want to um, bring out I don't want to go out of shape so that's what I'm trying to do guys i'm um, true um you know shaping it so what i'm doing right now is to use my scissors to cut the excess places i don't want there so that is the upper base that i'm you know trimming with my scissors So guys, um, this is the um, this is the end of this tutorial. So guys, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Um, please don't um, don't forget to you know subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to you know on your notification button. Thank you guys also don't forget to like share my video don't forget to comment don't forget to like all my videos god bless you